right everybody? This video is going to detail what I do in the Nick Valentine rescue split. Um, okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll... Okay, that was actually a fairly short loading screen. Alright, so... Typically you'll have low action points answering here. So going down the uh, the this escalator, you just want to walk down to regain action points. Then in this room you want to just run. Like when you're spotted, run. Um, what I usually do is at the midpoints of these stairs, I stop sprinting so I can get some more AP. And I walk down to the bottom. And then... Oh yeah, I go to my pit boy expecting jet, but I forgot to get it. But when they see you, you want to go into your pit boy. You want to take jet and a quantum. Even if you're at health, full health. Sorry. Even if you're at full health, still take a quantum. Um, because they'll do a fair amount of damage. Sometimes they do a lot of damage and one time I, well, I was even killed by these guys so that's why I take the quantum also the jet means that you can run past these guys without taking as much armor damage because they can't hit you as much uh, which is also useful Okay, so there I do take a quantum. So things did get quite hairy there. Um, there's a quantum here. And these are the first guys that you kill with a sprain pro. Unless things get really bad on the way here. So with these guys, you want to look for a submachine gun. So you want to look for 45 ammo. If they have 45 ammo, you also want to get their gun. Um, I mentioned that in the last bit, but I'm just going over here. here. If you're really brave, what you can do is rush this door. And then as you're waiting for the door to open, you can kill those triggermen with your sprain prey. I don't do that to conserve armor health. Um, so you just wait for this door to open. And what I do is I jump and jump again so that I'm not carried back by the platform. Um, so I immediately kill this triggerman. Then I usually wait a bit for the other triggerman to get in my way. Um, also, I think this Triggerman usually has 10mm ammo. Um, so, yeah. I also don't usually reload until I've done the next two Triggerman. Um, so, these guys don't go down quick. I think they also usually have 10mm um, only. Okay, I think I actually am going. Alright, may maybe I just hide on a whim to kill these guys. But that's... Actually, no, I, I still jump across. What I do now is I go across these railings and kill the triggerman as I go and then pick up the ammo. Um... And this basically, you know, the re the important thing here is to kill all the triggermen in this general area, so that they won't follow you into the next room, and also if they're all dead, they won't follow you when you're talking to Nick at the very end. 
um, after killing Skinny Malone. So this guy as well. Sometimes there's a guy standing there. So I, I crouch there to see if I'm in um hidden. And I, I also know that the other guy there is usually has a bet. So not you worth looking through. Um but yeah. I also don't think anybody follows me through because they're all dead. Yeah, I'm pretty much fine. If those guys were to follow me through, then... Um, Then yeah, they would follow me to Nick. They would be attacking Nick, uh, and it would generally be not good. So that's why it's important to have all the Triggerman killed. All right. So that's Dino. He's a little tough, but he go. He also goes down easy. Just pick up that stuff and then enter this. Um, and then in this room, I pick up the speech bubble head and the surgical trays. The bubble head means that um, merchants have 100 extra caps. Um, and the aluminium there. I mean, that's the only time in which you specifically pick up aluminium. Um, and that's used to build the reflector platform when you build the signal in interceptor. And you just talk to uh, Nick here. I think... Okay, so maybe this is why I have time save here usually. Um, I think it's just a case of Nick wants to stand right there to do his dialogue. But this dialogue is like any other. You just mash through. You jump down here. Um, and then from, the, from these guys you pick up the ammo. And if you do not... Um, if you do not have charisma clothing already, you want to pick one up from one of these guys. You know, a, a suit. Or, well, they 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 don't they don't wear dresses, so you would pick up a suit. But I don't because I already have one. Now, one thing that people do in any percent speed runs and regular glitches speed runs is that they um, wait on the bench to warp Nick to where he normally is. In survival mode, this isn't actually worth it as much because you have to wait for the animation leaving and entering your power armor. So you may as well just wait. Oh, here I do. Use the bench, but yeah, you're generally better off not no, you doing that because I think I. Yeah, I think I think I saw Nick, running. So you want to be waiting here. Now, at this door, and the door to the next area. And I think that's the only two places. What you want to do is you want to wait until Nick does his animation fiddling with the lock. The moment he says his dialogue, you talk to him and then go and uh, press X on the door. 
and that skips his animation and dialogue. Well, yeah, anim animation and dialogue. All right. And so that, that lets you get past quicker. Um, these guys. Thank you. There's a magazine here which gives plus five action points. Um, you just get it to sell. Uh, plus five action points isn't a big deal, but it's, you know, free money. So there's that. Now, if, if you see me using vets, uh, yeah, you, when I'm using vets, I'm just scanning the room to see if there's any enemies there. Um, especially in here, enemies can be a little bit hard to see. Um, yeah, so there's that. You just go through, kill any enemies. Sometimes there's an enemy, yeah, right there. Okay, and, and there's a bourbon, okay. So you want to spend a couple of moments here looking for a bourbon. It spawns on the ladder that you can just barely see to the left, the bottom left. That's where it spawns, but this, if there's a triggerman right there and you kill him, the bourbon will be blown away. Now, bourbon gives plus one endurance for about eight minutes. So primarily you want to save that for the airship down for a bit of extra health. Um, yeah. And then everything else is usual there. Okay, so over here. All right, so Yeah, so that's the thing with go these guys. Um, check for 45 if they have it. And then at this point, um, you want to drop the submachines that you've picked up, except for obviously the spray and pray. And that's just so that you can walk around without um, difficulty. Um... Yeah, and you also want to get, you want to get the perk cannibal, so that when, once you're done sleeping, you can eat one of those guys to re to not be hungry anymore. All right. So here I sleep for seventeen hours. The general rule is you take the time that it is, switch it to AM, and do 12 hours, and then add the amount of time to get it to uh, 8 AM, or like 7.50 will suffice. But that's so that when you enter Diamond City, it's 8 AM and the shops are open. All right. But I guess it might be worthwhile to skip the Arturo bartering. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the perk. Um, generally what I do is I go all the way down the endurance tree, go up to, to get um, cannibal, rather than counting out sp uh, this a specific number. Getting into the power armor. I think Nick is in the doorway. Yeah, he's just standing there. Alright, so. You stand over here. Actually, no, I think I oh, should just be standing on the other side. Yeah, right here. So, animation. 
dialogue. Um, when he does his dialogue, you talk to him. That skips his animation. You can just go, uh, enter the door. All right. So this starts a scene in which you're talking with Skinny Malone. Um, and so the way that I deal with this is I throw the grenade and then when it blows up or just before I start shooting Skinny Malone because the grenade will always kill the other two Triggerman and Dala but never Skinny so I shoot Skinny so that he dies about the same time just with everyone else if they have 45, pick up their gun. Um, Alright. And then, with Nick, you want to gun bash him. Um, I think once or twice until he does this line. When he says... Let's get out of here. That's when you can run off. Um, otherwise, he won't follow you out of the um, out of the vault. So when he says that line, I leave. Um, and then. Going up the A ladder will end this split. Um, so yeah, the next split is fairly long, so I will end the recording session here. Um, if you want to be consistent with the way that I time the split, then if Nick doesn't follow you through this loading th through this um, ladder then you have to go back down to have him follow you and then and then the time where you re exit this this area is the true split time um so yeah, that's 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 it for this. So yeah, I will see you in the next video detailing um detailing killer key early. Um general stuff in Diamond City, Diamond City Blues and Fort Hagen. But till then, bye bye.